Good morning guys, happy Weight Loss Wednesday. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm just starting to begin these Wednesday videos, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell so that you can be um, notified of my next video when it's uploaded. For those of you who have been with me all along, welcome to the Weight Loss Wednesdays. I won't be doing a weight loss, um, a weigh-in today just because we just posted our video, my husband and I, on Sunday, I believe. So we won't be doing a weigh-in today, but we will be doing it next week. I just thought it would be fun to do a what I eat in a day video for any of you interested in the keto diet or any low-carb diet or just you know, good recipes to use when you're on a fitness journey. So I hope you enjoy. Stick around. So I first just wanted to make a disclaimer. Um, I know there's always debates on channels like this of is that really what you're eating and how are you losing weight and blah, blah, blah. I will say that this is like on a good day where I have the opportunity to work out um, and uh, you know things are going well, things are prepped, so on and so forth. So this is on you know the perfect day that you know I often have, but there are those days that I know I'm not gonna have a chance to work out, so maybe I'll have just a, a coffee and a small breakfast instead of the full meal or um, you know during lunch I'll make sure I'm just having a salad instead of um, you know a bunch of meats and cheese and all that kind of stuff so um, if I if I know that I'm going to work out and I'm gonna have that opportunity to stay active and all that stuff then this is definitely what I would be having throughout the day um, and like I said if I don't have that opportunity maybe I'll make cuts here and there so I just wanted to throw that out there in case there's ever confusion of is that what you have every day and how are you losing weight if um, you're doing this but not working out and so on and so forth. It does change throughout the day with each circumstances. So anyway, just jumping right in. My breakfast is quite simple. Um, it's I basically make a scrambled egg mix with avocado on the side. Um, what I'll do first is I will um, brown cook this Jimmy Dean breakfast sausage. I actually don't even know if it's breakfast sausage. I think all Jimmy Dean is pretty much. I'm not really sure. But um, I'll probably do maybe this much in a pan and um, just brown it together and um, get it all cooked before going ahead and adding some of these egg whites. These are awesome, especially when I'm you know, low on my protein and just need a little more of that without getting the extra fat of a whole egg. So this is really good. This is from Sam's. All of this I believe is from Sam's actually. Um, so I go ahead and put in the egg whites, mix it up, make sure it's completely cooked. And then I will add uh, maybe a quarter cup to maybe a half a cup depending on if I'm making it for both my husband and I. Um, sometimes even my daughter. I'll add some of the cheese in there and then um, I'll cut half an avocado with some salt and pepper. Um, you do want to remember always when you're on the keto diet you want to make sure you're salting your foods. Um, you need to be um, up on your electrolytes just to continue to stay hydrated and hold on to that water so make sure you're salting your foods if you are on any keto or low-carb diet and I will see you guys back for lunch All right guys, it is lunchtime. I don't know if I've officially introduced this not so little, little one. Um, here, this is my daughter, Ariella. Can you say hi? hi. <laughs> oh, sweet. So I will introduce and talk about her a little bit more on my family Friday videos. If you guys are interested in learning more about her and our little family, uh, make sure again you hit that notification bell so that you can see when I upload our family Friday videos. Anyway, getting right into lunch. All right guys, so here is what we have going for lunch. 
Um, I do want to say one thing. I posted a picture on my Instagram of my refrigerator filled with these containers here and everything just prepped as much as um, it possibly can. I feel like most of us would be just lying. I know I would if I said that um, you know, as long as I have the food in my house, I'll do great. Um, my main goal is to get it as prepped as humanly possible, um, as I can. Whatever I can do that's not going to affect the longevity of the food, you know, of it going bad or not, I get the, into those containers. It just, I don't know if it necessarily saves that much more time, but just in my mental state of going, okay, all I have to do is dump this into a bowl from what I already have, it just makes it so much easier. So anyway, um, I first have my, let's see if I can get it out here. I'm making a mess, that's okay. All right, so I have my lettuce that, um, I just get a big bag of the shredded, I don't remember if it was romaine or iceberg, I believe it's iceberg, so I just get a bag of that and split it into containers. Um, and then I have these tomatoes. I will, I don't often use avocado just because I like to use it for breakfast, but if I need some extra fat, I'll stick it in there. Um, I'm not going to use this one today. I just had it out to show you just because they're not ripe yet, but I will on occasion use those. I also have this English cucumber. I never really knew that there was a big difference between English and regular cucumbers, but they are. These are fantastic. They're so easy to cut and um, I stick a little bit of probably maybe maybe a third of that goes into my salad and then of course got to add some cheese so I have this shredded um, Mexican blend cheese sorry about that glaring light I'm not really sure how to fix that maybe I can just turn it off and we'll still have a good enough all right yeah that's way better um, so anyway so I just have this Mexican blend that I get in a big bag also from Sam's and then just to get my meat protein in there, I have this uncured honey ham. So maybe two to three slices all chopped up. Um, I actually use two different, not in the same time, but I have two different um, dressings that I go between just because if I'm having salad consistently, um, sometimes I get a little bored of it and at least changing the dressing will help. So if you guys um, notice that you get bored of salads, just switch up one thing, you know, the type of salad or the dressing and that seems to help. So um, any of you keto friends know that ranch is an awesome uh, dressing to have on your keto diet or low carb diet because it only has the two grams so that's always good and I never knew until I used it the other day and checked that this um, Olive Garden Italian dressing from also from Sam's um, is also only two grams of carbs so I'm really excited about that I can switch between these two um, today I'm probably gonna do the Italian dressing so let's get cooking <music> lunch very excited very hungry finally got this one out <laughs> see you for dinner bye all right guys here's my snack just some boar's head pepperoni and cheese cubes it's just really good to get that extra fat in when you need it so it's just my little snack that I'm gonna munch on so I totally forgot that I wanted to film this so I had already begun um, the very first step to this keto pizza is to get, um, I think it was a cup of shredded mozzarella and half a cup of cheddar. I'm not really sure, but we just had a Mexican um, cheese blend, so I just used a total of one and a half cups of cheese. Hopefully it will work. Usually with um, alternate recipes, you're supposed to use exact because it you know, reacts differently, but we're gonna see how this goes. So anyway, I just stuck it in the microwave. Um, I first did 30 seconds, but I had to add another 30 just to get it really melted. Um, also added, before I melted it, some of the garlic powder. And now I'm going onto the cream cheese. So I'll just add two tablespoons of cream cheese. 
All right, so here's the cream cheese. I did actually put it in the microwave for another three seconds just to soften it a bit because after this, you're supposed to add the um, almond flour and flax meal. And if this is hard, it was just going to end up a mess. So I'm going to go ahead and mix that up. All right, I added the almond flour and flax seed. I'm not entirely sure how in the world it's going to mix with this cheese. We'll find out. I may add a little bit more cheese because I know it's different than mozzarella. Um, we'll just see what happens. Okay, so hopefully this will help. I forgot that you're also supposed to add an egg at this point. So um, I'm actually just going to knead it with my hands. The directions may say to do that. I didn't check. But um, I think that's just going to combine the ingredients a little bit better if I use my hands to knead it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, to my surprise, this actually resembles pizza dough. So I'm excited. Um, so the next step is to take two pieces of um, parchment paper, either wax or parchment paper, and you're going to put the dough between the two pieces and roll it out. I don't think I have a rolling pin, um, but I'm going to make do and go ahead to that part. All right, so I did not have a roller, but I just um, got a big old piece of parchment paper, folded it over, and pushed it down with the um, measuring cup, and then just evened it out a little bit with my hands. So it's pretty flat, and I'm gonna go ahead and get it onto the baking sheet. All right, so I don't know if I've mentioned in the beginning, but you're gonna make sure your oven is preheated to 425, and I have my crust out on a baking sheet on the parchment paper. Um, also, you're just going to keep an eye on it to check for the edges until they turn a little bit browned, and that's when you take it out to put in your toppings. Alrighty, so I fail a little bit at, um, directions. I don't know if I failed them, but the directions I had were a little vague, and I didn't realize you're not supposed to have the parchment paper, so I ended up having that in there in the oven. It started smoking. I flipped it over, so that's why this is a little torn a little. It was stuck to the parchment paper. Anyway, I stuck it back in until it was done. Moving forward. Anyway, so I've got my tomato sauce. Um, it's just regular. I don't know if it's not really pizza or any special kind. It's just regular tomato sauce. I got my toppings, which it has mushrooms, just a very little bit of uh, yellow peppers for a little sweetness. It's got pepperoni and ham. I think I said everything. Mushrooms, peppers, pepperoni, and ham. So actually, the recipe does say you can sprinkle some more cheese, but since the whole crust has a good bunch of cheese and we pretty much um, met our fat content today with that. I'm not gonna add any cheese onto the top. Um, it's It's got tons in there. So we're not gonna put any cheese on, we're just gonna go with the sauce, the toppings, pop it in the back in the oven for a little bit longer um, for those to crisp up and we'll be ready. All right guys, here it is, it looks delicious. I actually am gonna put a little bit of Parmesan cheese because why not, it actually, zero carbs and not even that high on fat so gonna put a little bit on that and gonna grub up we are so excited and we're hungry and ready to eat this uh if you try it let us know how it comes out all right guys so that is it um that video yeah. of the pizza recipe was actually something i had recorded the first time i made it um and i've made it several times since and it's absolutely fantastic especially when you know it's friday and you're like oh i just want to cheat let's order some pizza um it's so easy to make and it's absolutely delicious we've made it at least four times now um so make sure you try it out and let me know in the comments how it works out for you um i hope you liked the different recipes and this video and i'm excited to see you guys next weight loss wednesday for our weigh-in i'm pretty sure i'm going to post the outfit update that you guys have probably been waiting for um again any of you interested in my family updates life updates um with my daughter and so on make sure you come back on friday and see us in that video um thank you and uh i've just been getting continuous support from you guys and it's just been awesome i love you continue on your journeys and good luck for the rest of the week bye